Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So here's the deal. Your pop-up camper security sucks. But it's not really your fault, right? Because remember that these are just essentially tents on trailers, right? That's why a lot of people call pop-ups tent trailers too. So in this video, I want to show you things you can at least do to mitigate um, the poor security that your pop-up camper has um, to prevent it from A, being stolen um, while it's on your tow vehicle, B, while it's um, you know set up at your favorite campsite and not necessarily attached to your tow vehicle, and C, also while you might be in storage or at home or in your garage. So here, here, here's the important thing to remember about pop-up campers, especially as they relate to um, security when it's set up. And that is the only thing that prevents someone from walking right into your pop-up camper is a little door latch or a door, door latch with a lock on it. However, there is <laughs> usually Velcro right next to your door that anybody could easily undo. Maybe two sets of Velcro if you have um, if you have a different camera system. So all they have to do is undo the Velcro, reach around, undo the lock, and voila, they're in. Um, the second thing about pop-up campers when they're set up is the keys that you're given for these door locks. Now. If you guys have watched our channel before, you know we have two pop-ups. One that we're you know, actively pop-up pop camping in and uh, it's been renovated and everything. And the other one behind me is the one we're currently renovating. Now, what's funny is I have, of course, both sets of keys for the doors and they are keyed identically. So it wouldn't be a stretch to say thousands of other people out there have the exact same key you do and can probably easily buy it off the eBay or the internet somewhere. So that's the second thing about pop-up door locks. Now here's the other thing about pop-up camper locks. At least both of the campers we have have the front storage boxes that have the doors on the, um, on the sides of the pop-up. And those are, those are key locked. Um, however, those locks are not great. Um, so like I said before, we have access to two sets of camper keys. Um, and they are slightly keyed differently, meaning you know it should be two separate keys that open them. However, the uh, Starcraft I'm able to use the Palomino key for, and I believe the reason is that is that those locks just are they're old, they're well worn, and the tolerances are just not great on them. So I can use the Palomino key to open up the side side box um, or the the side of the storage uh, of the front box with the uh, Palomino key. So those are all the problems with pop-up camper security or lack thereof, right? So here's what you can do to mitigate some of those security um, concerns that you might have regarding your pop-up. Now, like I said before, I first wanted to talk about what you can do when the pop-up camper is hooked up to your tow vehicle. Um, there's a few things that come to mind um, as far as security goes when it's hooked up and that is the hitch lock. So that'll prevent anybody from removing the entire hitch assembly um, and then putting the hitch assembly into their vehicle and towing, taking your camper away. Um, and then there's also the um, coupler lock that, or pin lock that you can put on the receiver of your pop-up to prevent that you know, from coming off your hitch and then someone you know, putting it on their hitch and taking off. So those are two things that you can easily do if you're stopping for gas or you know stopping at a restaurant and you're going to be leaving your pop-up camper while it's um, connected to your tow vehicle. Now, another thing you're going to want to consider is the security of the items in your pop-up, especially if you kind of have a front storage box like like we do or any sort of exterior access points. So what we do is we just use small little um, locks that go on the clasps 
that lock down the front storage. So we have two class, both of them get a lock, and that way no one can really pry open one side or the other to get in there. Um, and then of course we utilize the, the keys to lock the side doors just to prevent those crimes of opportunity um, from some, someone reaching into our front storage box and taking some, uh, some of the more expensive items like, like our impact driver or stuff like that. But then again, there's really nothing horribly expensive that we store in there. We also use those um, small padlocks on the clasps on, for the uh, roof clasps. And we could lock all four corners of our roof, but that seems a little excessive. What we do is we lock diagonals. That way, um, no one could come up. And I suppose they would also have to have some sort of cranking mechanism, but Nevertheless, um, that way they can't uh, open up the camper and access whatever's inside. Um, and for example, some of the more expensive items we might have inside would be like our cooler or our um, Blackstone or something like that where you wouldn't want to see it walk away. So that's what we do for when the pop-up is attached to the tow vehicle. Now, what you can do when you're camping and you're not hooked up to a tow vehicle is once again use that coupler lock or that pin lock to prevent anybody from um, hooking up your pop-up to their tow vehicle as well as utilizing those same front box padlocks to prevent anyone from going in your front box when you're not at your campsite. A few other things to consider are the use of possibly um, some sort of door alarm. And by that I mean is one of those magnetic um, alarms that when it um, disconnects from the magnet, it goes off. And the particular one we have is um, not just one that you can simply switch off by flipping the switch on the side. Um, it, it'll only turn off with a remote. So that way if someone were to enter your camper through the door without your knowledge, that'll go off and they don't have the ability to turn it off without you uh, being there to turn it off. The other cool thing about this is for those of you who have kids or have any concerns about anybody um, exiting the camper um, without your knowledge, but without having that really obnoxious alarm go off, there's kind of a doorbell chime um, option where you can tell it your home. It's got this little home symbol and then this acts as a doorbell chime or a door chime so that every time the door opens it uh, goes off and that way you know if a child is leaving the camper or going in the camper or what have you. So kind of a cool secondary feature that is unrelated to security. Of course, you know, it never hurts to utilize that, um, that door lock on the inside um, when you're inside or when you're leaving your campsite. But as we talked about before, there's definitely ways around that. And then the final thing I wanna say is that when you're camping and everything's set up, I think it's just common sense not to leave valuables inside your pop-up camper when you're away from your campsite. We always throw our expensive items in the car if we're gonna go for a hike or a walk or whatever. Or, of course, if we're leaving to you know get firewood or going to the store or whatever, we'll bring it with us in the car. That way we don't have to worry about uh, many of those expensive items walking off. Finally, um, there is the issue of security when your pop-ups in storage or in storage at your house, right? So we keep our pop-up in the garage. So that's pretty darn secure in the, you know, totality. However, if you keep your pop-up camper, let's say outside or at a, an outdoor storage um, facility, there's always the possibility that someone might have access to it that's not supposed to. So once again, um, you can use that coupler lock to prevent uh, someone from, from hooking uh, their tow vehicle up to it. And there's even um, upgraded ball locks that seem a little bit more heavy duty and a little bit more tamper resistant than just those pin locks that might be a good option for long-term storage. Once again, I'd recommend you know having those padlocks on your front storage box 
on your roof clasps, everything like that that we already discussed. But you might want to consider even further upgrading your security when it's um, parked, you know, outside or at a storage facility. You can um, maybe look into some wheel locks, some you know, some locks that go around the wheel, kind of like a, a wheel boot or, or something similar to that. Um, or even possibly if you have um, somewhere to chain the camper to and then utilizing a chain and padlock combo, just some things to consider. Like I said, we store ours in our garage, so we're not too worried about any unauthorized access to the camper, but it's definitely something to consider if, um, if it's not in a, you know, inside secured storage facility or, or at your own uh, house. So, that's pretty much it as far as what you can do to physically secure your pop-up camper when it's being towed, when it's at the campsite, or when it's being stored. But another thing you can consider is just simply having insurance on your camper. Personally, we have um, our StarCraft insured for $5,000, so that way if it's completely stolen, um, then we're able to recoup that loss. Also within our insurance policy is $1,000 worth of coverage for the items that you store inside your pop-up camper. And of course that kind of covers things if there's a fire or something crazy like that happens. But it also um, comes into effect if those items are, are, are stolen out of your pop-up camper. Also of note, and I was kind of getting nerdy and reading through the insurance policy documents, but at least on the face of it, I, I didn't like call and verify or read into it extensively and look at all the exceptions, but it seemed to indicate that if you are um, renting your campsite, and, and the exact verbiage was if there's theft from, quote, anywhere else on the parcel reserved for your exclusive use, which sounds like, you know, uh, reserving a campsite, those items that would be stolen from your campsite um, would be covered. But once again, you know, it might depend on your specific policy and the intricacies of what happened and all that fun stuff. But at least you might have some further protection if your, you know, Blackstone got stolen while it's out or a nice cooler got stolen or a nice grill or something like that. You know, one of those more expensive items that typically are left outside while you're camping. So those are just some of the things that you can do to mitigate the risk of your pop-up camper being stolen or any items from within your pop-up being stolen. Now, um, you know, none of this is 100% foolproof. It's more or less to keep the honest person honest, make it harder to steal right, and maybe they'll move on somewhere, somewhere else to, you know, campsite B. So that's it as far as um, how to secure your pop-up camper. Is there anything we missed or anything that you guys do that you do to secure your pop-up or mitigate that risk of theft? <laughs> from uh, your pop-up while you're camping or while you're towing it or even while uh, you have it locked up at home. So uh, please let us know and hopefully we'll see you out there camping. <laughs>